Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 13 of the chapter Equilibrium. In part 12, we were discussing the applications of equilibrium constant and I told you about the first application that using equilibrium constant, we can predict the extent of a reaction. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the second application of equilibrium constant, which is to predict the direction of the reaction. Equilibrium constant can be used to predict the direction of the reaction, which means whether the reaction at a certain time will proceed in the forward direction or would it proceed in the backward direction. We know that at equilibrium, the rates of both the reactions, that is the forward and the backward reactions, are equal. At any other time, one of the reactions is predominating. Either the forward reaction is predominating or the backward reaction is predominating. In order to find out the uh, direction of the reaction at a certain time, which is not uh, the equilibrium or at a time when we do not know whether the equilibrium has been established or not, we calculate the reaction quotient. The reaction quotient is represented by Q and just like the equilibrium constant, you calculate it in the same manner and reaction quotient in terms of concentration would be QC and reaction quotient in terms of the uh, partial pressures would be P. But reaction quotient is nothing but the same formula that is equilibrium constant only that the concentrations at that particular time may not be the equilibrium concentrations or the pressures. For example, we have this equation AA plus BB gives you CC plus DT. QC, that is just like how do you calculate equilibrium constant KC? We know that KC is C to the power of C into D to the power D divided by A to the power A and B to the power B when the reaction is at equilibrium. But at any other time, the same formula would give us the value of QC. So QC is nothing but the same formula for equilibrium constant, that is concentration of C, concentration of the products raised to the powers of their stoichiometric coefficients, divided by the concentrations of the reactants raised to the powers of their, their stoichiometric coefficients. This gives us a value of QC. Now QC is nothing but something similar to KC because KC, if you really see, is also the same. If I wrote the formula for KC, I would get the same formula. Now if the value of QC <coughs> is greater than KC, we know at KC, whatever is the concentration of C, the, the products and the reactants, those concentrations, they become stable or they become constant because the rates of both the reactions are equal and hence whatever is the concentration of the reactants and whatever is the concentration of the products that becomes constant. But at any other time, whatever is the concentration, if we can calculate that and put it in the same formula and calculate the value of QC. If the value of QC is greater than KC, if the value of QC is greater than KC, whatever is the value of KC, if the value of QC is greater, it means the formula for Q, Q, QC and KC is the same. That is C to the power C into D to the power D, but these are equilibrium concentrations into A to the power A into B to the power B. These are equilibrium concentrations. So basically it is the same formula. So if QC is greater than KC, it means that this value is greater than this value. It means the concentrations of the products is greater here. If QC, the value of QC is greater, it means the concentration of the products must be higher. That is why the numerator is greater and that is why it will, its value would be greater than KC. If that is the case, then the reaction, it means, is proceeding towards the backward direction. It means the reaction proceeds in the direction of the reactants. It takes place in that direction so that QC becomes equal to KC because reactions proceed unless they reach the equilibrium. They proceed in a certain direction unless they reach the equilibrium state. If QC, on the other hand, is less than KC, if it is less than KC, when will the value of QC be less than KC? When the denominator is larger, that is when this value would be less than KC. 
So if the denominator is larger, it means the concentration of the reactants is more. So the reaction will proceed in that direction to make it equal to Kc. It will proceed in that direction where the concentration of the reaction, reactants goes on decreasing. And that happens in the forward direction. That is, the reaction is favored in the direction of the products or the reaction proceeds in the forward direction. So this is how we use the value of Qc to know what is the uh, direction of a reaction, to predict the direction of a reaction when it is not achieved equilibrium. But at equilibrium, the value of Qc and Kc, the concentrations of the reactants in the products become the same and therefore their value of Qc and Kc, they become equal. So when Qc is equal to Kc, it means the reaction has already arrived at the equilibrium state. So if we just make this diagram to explain this uh, better. If Qc is less than Kc, then it means Qc is less than Kc, it means that it needs more products. If it needs more products, the reaction proceeds in the forward direction. If Qc is equal to Kc, it means the reaction is at equilibrium. But if Qc is greater than Kc, it means already it has too many products, then uh, it, would, it would proceed in the backward direction, that is in the favor of the formation of reactants. And both the, of these reactions are proceeding only till both Qc and Kc become equal and equilibrium is established. Let us take this one example here. Hydrogen combines with iodine to give you 2HI. This is a reaction and the value of Kc is given to us which is 57 at 700 K. If we carry out this reaction now and at a certain time at the same temperature the concentrations we calculate and we find the concentrations of hydrogen iodine and hi at a certain time t are given to us then we can calculate qc so what would qc be qc would be the concentration of hi to the power of two because the stoichiometric coefficient is two into concentration of hydrogen divided by concentration of hydrogen into iodine and what is the concentration given to us? Hi is 0 0.40 molar and hydrogen is 0 0.10 and this is square into 0 0.20 molar, right? And when you calculate this amount, or, sorry, they are all moles so the units will be cancelled because Qc and Kc do not have units and when we calculate this, this value comes out to be equal to 8.0. Now, Qc is 8.0 and Kc given to us is how much? 57. So, Kc is greater than Qc. Kc is greater than Qc. If Kc is greater than Qc, it means the concentrations of the products is less so if the concentration of products is more, then in which direction would the concentration of products increase? It would increase in the forward direction. Therefore, this reaction will proceed in the forward direction. Right? So <coughs> this is how we predict the direction of a reaction. Now I'll solve one more numerical problem here. Give me a second. Now this is the solved example of your textbook. This is question 7.7. .7. The question reads that the value of Kc for the reaction 2A to give you B plus C is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. At a given time, the composition of the reaction mixture is the concentration of A, B and C are equal and the concentration is given to us at a certain time. In which direction will the reaction proceed? To do this, we need to calculate Kc is given to us. We need to calculate Qc and then compare their values. So let us calculate Qc. Qc here would be equal to concentration of the products B into C upon concentration of the reactant that is A to the power of 2. Now the concentrations are given to us. It is 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 squared. If you really see, the concentrations in the numerator and the denominator are equal. Therefore, the value of Qc is equal to 1. And what is the value of Qc given to us? It is the value of Kc, sorry, given to us is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. 
that is 2 divided by 1000 and that is 1. So 1 is greater than uh, 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. So we say QC is greater than KC. When QC is greater than KC, at that time, the reaction proceeds in the backward direction, right? So this reaction, since QC, the value of QC is greater than KC, the reaction proceeds in the backward direction. <clears throat> so with this, I'll end this video. Please excuse me for my weak voice. I just underwent a surgery where I uh, they removed the thyroid gland from my throat. So my voice is a little weak, but uh, I would love to come back and take my classes and try to continue to take my classes through my treatment. And if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, uh, recommend it to your friends, and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.